beautiful Maui. Look at this beach behind me. Um, so we've been kind of busy all morning. We checked into our hotel and we've just been swimming for a few hours now. So we're just hanging out, but I'm really excited to be here. I've been to Maui. This is our fifth time, I think, that we've been here. So we love this island. There's a lot, there's so much to do here. Uh, we're here for four days, so we'll take you guys along, show you what you can do in the few days that you have here. Um, take you to all of our favorite spots, eat some good food, take you to the road to Hana. So we have a lot planned, and I'm excited for you guys to follow along. <laughs> it's freaking crazy out there. Oh my god. It's pretty windy the, today. No, the waves are crazy. Look at the waves. Yeah, it's a short break. It's pretty nuts. We're getting owned by the waves. But this is Kanapoli Beach. It's Zach and I's favorite beach. We come here every single year. We usually stay on this beach, but we're uh, staying in Kapalua this time. So it was kind of hard to find parking. But if you really want to come to this beach because the snorkeling is amazing, right over there is Black Rock. Right there. And Black Rock, Black Rock has the best snorkeling, or like not the best, but really good snorkeling. And a lot of people will jump off of the cliff. I tried that once, never doing, never doing that again. But um, where was I going? Oh yeah. So if you're gonna come here and you're not staying on Kanapoli, you can just park at Whalers Village and just buy something, get your parking validated, and yeah. Otherwise, it's really hard to find parking for this beach because everyone tries to come here. Yeah, but look how big it is. I mean, you got it goes down all the way that way. All the way down that way. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The only thing is, this beach is kind of tourist. Well, they're actually very touristy because it's basically just a long stretch of hotels. Um, so you're gonna be with a lot of tourists. What's up, guys? Day two at our favorite place, beautiful Maui. We slept in a little bit today, so we got a late start. We ended up missing breakfast at our hotel. Uh, the Ritz Carlton has an amazing breakfast buffet from what I can remember. Um, so we're kind of bummed that we missed it, but we're definitely gonna get it tomorrow. So right now we're on our way to eat lunch at Leilani's. So, and so stoked on that. Yeah, their food is really good. If you like real food, you would really like Leilani's. And it's right on the beach. It's on Kanapali Beach that we were on yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go eat some lunch and then we're gonna go to Hana. We are getting a really late start to Hana, but it's because we've been there so many times. We're not gonna go all the way through, um, but if it's your first or maybe second time and you've never been to Hana, you should get up really early. Like, you should be on your way to Hana at 7 a.m. because it's yeah, really far sure. and there's so much to do. There's so much to see in Hana that you don't really wanna miss out on the big things. Um, like, there's this hike that's like pretty much at the end of Hana. It's the PPY Trail, which is a bamboo forest hike. It's, I think, like two miles in, two miles out, and you get to a 400-foot waterfall. It's incredible. That is a must-do if you go to Hana. We're probably gonna only go in a few miles in Hana. There's hikes at every mile marker and waterfalls at every mile marker, so you don't really need to go that deep. So that's what we're doing today. Just, we're gonna shoot some content, See a beautiful waterfall, get some banana bread. Hana has the best banana bread. Um, and there's this really good ice cream, it's called Coconut Glen's Ice Cream. Um, but I'll talk more about like everything to do in Hana um, in my blog post. But for now, we're gonna go get some lunch. Our food is here. I got the Kahlua pork tacos. I got a pina colada with strawberry. This guy over here, his favorite burger ever, fries. Mm. He got a mango. Is that a mango pina colada? It is. What got do you the think? Color, the pineapple, the whole nine. What do you think? Yeah? Really good. What you got there? So 
wrong. <laughs> I'm very picky with pina coladas, but Maui knows the kind of pina coladas we're talking about. So this is a pina colada with strawberries, so they call it the lava flow. And it's amazing. It looks good. What, what is this? What's going, what's going on over here? Okay, these are Kahlua pork tacos. Okay, okay, okay. Slow roasted. Okay, okay. We've got mango, not mango, pineapple um, sauce. Okay. And yeah. Very nice, very nice. And this is a bite. I got the ranch coming up here and uh, not if I can bring those. Cool, thank you so much. Thank you. You never have too much sauce. No, you can't. Okay. Good. The Three Bears waterfall is at mile marker 19.5, and so on the road you'll see like all the signs for the mile uh, for each mile marker. And halfway to Hana, which is super popular, they have the best banana bread there. That was mile marker, I think, 17.5. So hopefully we can stop there. I really want to get some banana bread and then make our way to the Three Bears waterfall. We did it a few years ago, and I just remember that it was so beautiful, but just kind of sketchy to get down to. Um, but I forgot to bring a swimsuit, so if you guys come to Hana, definitely bring like your um, hiking shoes, some pants, and a swimsuit. And, mos and mosquito repellent. And lots a of mosquito repellent. A lot of mosquito repellent. repellent. Yes, because you're gonna get bit here, no doubt about it. But let me show you guys a sketchy road. <laughs> One-way bridges. One-way bridges. Isn't that crazy? But look how beautiful this is. It's so green. Well, sorry, it's kind of it's gonna be kind of shaky. Hey guys, we made it to the road to Hana, and it's freaking amazing. Man, it's crazy out here. Look at that. That is incredible. It's so green. It is so green. It rains so much here, so that's why it's so green. Can you yeah, guys we hear? We pulled over for we thought we had a, a flat or something in the tire, but it actually was nothing and we came out and we saw it. It's just like a crazy backdrop. So yeah. we took a pretty cool uh, photo right photo. there. So yeah. Yeah, but like, let me show you guys. Yes, isn't that crazy? So nice. Look at the road. I mean the backdrop, everything about it. It just goes all the way. So we're headed down that way. Yeah, we're gonna go down that way. And we're gonna stop by halfway to Hana first, get some banana bread, and then go to check out the waterfall. So we just got to halfway to Hana, and we got some ice cream and banana bread. And they have a homemade ice cream. Everything is homemade, basically. And they have a ton of ice cream flavors. I got the banana nut crunch, and it's one of the best ice creams I've ever had. It's so good. But <laughs> this is at mile marker 17 and a half, so you still have like quite a way to go. So we stopped and parked, and we are heading to the Three Bears waterfalls right now. You guys should see my outfit because it's pretty epic. <laughs> I'm wearing this really cute free people dress, but I have on my sneakers, so here, it's aesthetic AF right now. Go. <laughs> Cute. Killing it. <laughs> we saw broken glass on the floor, so I think they broke into someone's car, so we literally grabbed all of our stuff. And the waterfall's right down here. Do you hear that waterfall? Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is the waterfall, it's the Three Bears waterfall. And we're trying to get down there. There's two different openings. I don't know which one is gonna let us go down. I don't even know if it's possible, so let's go check it out. But look how beautiful it is. And goals to get there. Literally down there. I know Wish it's possible. Luck. I know it's possible because people have done it, and Zach and I are not one to give up, so. We found a couple paths. We're gonna go uh, explore them. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> so we're gonna try to go down this way. See, babe, it's totally possible. Just be careful.
What do you think? Guys, Zach found a way. You guys found a way. Oh my god. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alright. Okay, let's do this. We made it, you guys! to yourselves not a bad feeling this is a real behind the scenes of being a blogger function and aesthetic <laughs> so I brought my I wore my sandals for the photos but I brought my tennis shoes so I can hike because I'm not trying to die over here okay and so I always bring like multiple outfits big flowy ones so I can change like under, this is like a little tent, so it's easy to change because you gotta have different outfits. We're about to make the hike back. I'm gonna attempt to record Ruby so she can show you the way. I'm not graceful at all, so. <laughs> and we gotta carry everything because we didn't want to leave anything in the car. Okay, can you carry my sandals? Yeah, you wanna put it in my backpack? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> they almost saw walk and hike at the same time. Hey, you gotta multitask as an insta hubby. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you put your life on the line and you gotta be okay with that guys. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get the shot, you know what I mean? So as you can see, what? this is not that easy to get to, but you know what? We've done a lot more sketchy stuff to get to other places, so it's actually not too bad. I don't even remember how to go, do you? Uh, yeah. It doesn't look familiar. We went the opposite and way. just so you guys know, I have a camera in one hand and a tri- Oh, what did you do? I almost ate it. And I have a tripod Babe, in my not other hand. Not very smart. Really worth it's coming so down. It's worth it. It's not that bad. Be very careful. In no way do we endorse you guys to come down here, but no. you know, just a little disclaimer. But if you decide to at your own risk, at your own risk. Put it right under the bridge. There's Ruby. If you guys are planning on doing this hike, um, you're definitely gonna want to not go in this little hole. You definitely wanna walk over, take this little side path here at your own risk, of course. Always at your own risk. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk through there and then you're gonna go right underneath the bridge. Just be very careful. It's very slippery. Wear sneakers. Yeah, so you come out of here. And then, the other path used to be over here. But this path is sketch. Because it's always really wet. And there's a chain. You can see the chain, but they broke it off. That was a huge success. Don't you think, babe? Definitely a success. Yeah, it down. I am so glad. To be honest, I was ready to give up and she said, let's try to find a way. So I said, <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's go for it. So. <laughs> I'm just thinking if there's other people who've done it, why would we give up? That's we, true. And we got to try. It wasn't dangerous. Like, if it, I mean, no. it was, was kind of dangerous, but. But it wasn't like. Like, like if you mess up, you'll die dangerous. Yeah, you no. Know? You might get a couple scratches. Yeah, definitely a couple <laughs> scratches, but. But it's getting kind of dark now, as you can see. We gotta drive this 
sketchy road at night. So yeah, this road is super sketchy. So if you come, you sh tr should try to be out of here before it gets dark. Well, we're gonna go you. back. We're gonna go get um, the kitchen right now, right? Yeah, let's get it to go. And then, um, or should we just eat it there? Should I just eat it there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. And let's get some shaved ice after that. Yes, okay. Hey guys, so we are having breakfast at our hotel today. And we got all of this food. I'm really disappointed because they have this amazing fried rice here that I didn't know about until we sat down and I asked for a menu because that fried rice is, is literally amazing. Um, but regardless, we're having a good breakfast. Look at this huge <laughs> coffee. <laughs> this is the biggest cup ever. <laughs> I haven't had coffee in like three days and this is very much needed. The guy brought me a sample of the rice. She saw, she saw how disappointed she was. I was really disappointed because <laughs> the portion of this is supposed to be huge. Um, and then with all this breakfast, I was like, I don't want it to go to waste. So he brought me a little sample. This is legitimately the best fried rice I've ever had. And I remember it from four years ago. We were looking for a private beach or just like a beach in general to go swimming at. And then so we came up uh, past Kapalua and this is, what is it called babe? Honolulu Bay? I think it's Honolulu Bay. I think yeah. it's Honolulu Bay. If it's not, I'll put it on the screen what the name of it is. But um, but yeah, there's a bunch of snorkeling here and it's so pretty, but I'm looking for a beach. So I don't think that we're gonna stop here, but I wanted to show you guys because it's really beautiful. And I've heard the snorkeling here is really, really good. Um, there's also snorkeling at Black Rock, but we've never actually gone snorkeling here and you can take a catamaran. And yeah, that's what all these people are doing. We just got to the beach and there's like a little burger shack here. A beach from bar. Yep. It's kind of cool. And then the beach is right over here. Let's go check it out. Wow, it's actually oh. really nice. show you guys the beach before I go in and get all gross and wet. Uh, we just shot a campaign. I'm working with Ole and I thought it'd be perfect to shoot uh, the second photo here on this beach. So I'll put the photo we got on the screen. I think it looks great and I'm really excited to post it on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me there to see all the content. Hawaii, the Ole campaign, basically everything goes on Instagram. doesn't stop Never. even on vacation always working always sorry babe <laughs> <laughs> okay so she's just trying to get some of the editing done she had to send some of the I photos just edited out a photo someone. so this is uh, the one that I shot for Olay today can you see it yeah and it's so cool how cool is that there's another photo let me show you this one oh my god I love it so much, but I want to try to shoot it without the product. Oh, it's not focusing. It's not focusing? There it is. I love this photo so much, but I want to recreate it without the product so I can use it for a whole nother post. So I'm really happy with the content we shot today. Hey guys, this here, you guys, that, hold on, let it focus. Okay, that is a welcome drink you get on the first day you arrive. This bougie it's girl. Fun. As for a welcome drink on the fourth day. What? I said I, I'll buy it too. It's good. <laughs> How you can ask for a welcome drink on the fourth day? That's strong. It's freaking bomb. <laughs> you guys want some real behind the scenes? This is the real tea, okay? We popped the top of the Jeep and uh, Found we... Found a pretty view? Yeah. So if you see how we're parked, how we set this, the seats are down, <laughs> we popped the top off. But hey, we got a really cool shot. We're enjoying the sunset. Uh, so we really can't complain. 
Right? All right, let's show them the pose. Ready? Okay, ready? Okay. No, I'm not doing the pose again. Come on! There's a whole bunch of people running. Okay. okay. So basically, we went like this. And then... That's how it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show them this. I don't know. So we have the Jeep here. Parked all crooked. But I mean, look at that view though. So we were able to shoot it here and get this awesome shot. So it looks really, really cool. Yep. <laughs> Lulami's round three. Three. <laughs> Man, this stuff's like crap. So good. It is so good. It's so nice. Oh, it's waving. Hey, they know us. Yeah, they know us. Uh, we're gonna do... Yeah. 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 I check them out. They're fire. And they're super nice. Yeah, we came every day and they got new ones. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Right, let's go. I set up the chairs and you bring the stuff. The laziest husband in the world. What are you talking about? I set up the chairs. You suck. I set up the chairs. Look, look how. Oh, you did so much work. I set up the chairs. Feed me grapes now. I don't have any grapes. Make some. <laughs> I want a pina colada, make it snappy. I want a virgin because I don't like alcohol. And I want a fruit platter and you have to feed me my fruit platter. <laughs> yes. And the girls? A point rub. <laughs> Did you show them the pool yet? Look at this. It feels so nice. And really, at least it's been one more day. There's no way. Honestly, one day is nothing. You could do it. <laughs> Well, you're not going to win any singing competition soon. <laughs> this is the end of the road to Maui. We're really sad. We just checked out of our hotel and... So you guys know how I've been asking for the welcome drink every day. And it happens to be the same guy that I ask guys, somehow. I don't think you understand the, the value of this. The welcome drink? They give you this drink when you first get to the hotel, like welcome to the hotel. Okay. Okay. She's been asking for the welcome it's drink good. every day. Okay. Now, tell them. So I go to the guy again. I was like, "Hi, do you mind if I get another cup of the welcome drink?" And he goes, "Oh yes, let me get you a bottle." <laughs> I'm really sad that we're leaving. I really don't want to leave. Well, it is what it is. Off to our next adventure to plan and <sighs> yeah. figure out another place we need. We're Hawaii, gonna come back. Hawaii is just always like. Like a home base travel spot for us. You know? It feels like home to us now. We've been so many times. It's just so relaxing. Not that you don't relax on other vacations, but coming here, it's like time doesn't move as fast. And I just feel like it doesn't move as fast. You know, the days go by slower. And it's just a really laid back vibe. And yeah, I, don't know. I think it is just the vibe. Yeah, people are here and just, just I mean, in general, wherever you go in the world, I'm sure. For us, it's just them. Maui. Maybe it's just us. Everyone has their favorite place in the world, you know? This is definitely one of our favorite spots. Overall, this trip was so relaxing and we had an amazing time. We really needed this.